and I have some pretty exciting news for you guys. NBC is coming to my house tomorrow. They have reached out, they're flying in from New York. There's two separate reporters flying to Austin to come like check out our Lego city and all of our Lego collections and displays. And I am kind of nervous about it. I have no idea what to expect, but right now I am just trying to deal with this mess that is our Lego city. Also my Lego display in my office is kind of a mess. Literally, I just need to clean everything up. So let me show you what we're working with right now. Are you gonna help us out with this ladybird? Now she's just gonna be in the way, I think. So I just started cleaning up in here. That's actually a complete lie. I spent all day yesterday cleaning up everything. Like literally there were so many pieces everywhere, like on the floor as well. This whole corner, it looks like a mess. It was worse before, if you can believe that. But I did manage to make it look pretty decent by this point. Like the downtown area is looking really nice. We do have our two corner garages next to each other now, which is kind of cool. There's lots of room for ladybirds to roll around on the floor now. There used to be so many boxes and stuff under here, so we've cleaned that up. All we have left down here actually is this artwork I got at Legoland. It's my sig fig as this giant artwork and I have no idea how to hang it up. I'm thinking placing it on base plates would be a good idea because I want to hang that up in my Lego display room. And then over here is like the ocean area with Ninjago going on. Tons of just kind of random stuff. Like there's just brick separators hanging out there for no reason. Our beautiful little Flamodi hanging out with Scoob. The huge, you know, very normal stuff. So I need to clean a bit of this up. Just make it look a little bit cleaner beforehand. This area is looking really nice though. I am happy with this. Like, I think this is something really cool to kind of show off. Like the tiles are looking really good, the different colorations and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy with this area, but then <laughs> looking over there, it's a nightmare and I don't know what to do with the sets. I think I'm just gonna organize them and have them look a little bit better that way. Because right now in here, it's literally just sets on a table. I know that's kind of like the running joke on this channel is like my Lego cities just sets on the table, but like, what, what is this? It's a set on a table. Also, RIP, these mini dolls are just kind of like falling over on the top. So yeah, I guess it's time to start organizing my little Lego room here. Let's do it. These dot spins do not belong on a table. They belong in a museum. Get it? Indiana Jones. We've got a rogue base plate. This belongs in the base plate drawer. Our very good organization system down here. I feel like she's judging us. I don't even know what this is supposed to go to. Is there a bin for that? Future Emily. I'm hiding this in this Ikea big lick. I don't think I'm ever gonna see that again. There's a cup of water. We don't need that in here. So I should probably mention this. Today is Friday. The reporters are coming tomorrow and I haven't heard anything from them yet. I know they're supposed to be getting into Austin today. So I just emailed to follow up just to be sure they're actually coming. I haven't heard back yet, but you know, the worst case scenario, I have a clean Lego city. I've got some instructions here for a set that we still haven't built. We started building this in October and it's not done yet. That's, that's embarrassing. Oh, and then there's Mickey and friends here. I have big plans for the set, but I don't know what to do with it yet. Like the Disney area is just so far from being anywhere near presentable. Into the baggie it goes. Okay, I've come to a stopping point and I'm not sure what to do now. So I have a bunch of modulars here. I have the little bookshop, half of it there, and then the diner, but then also like a mills plate of the Avengers Tower for some reason, the house. I have all of these sets here with no home and like, do I just extend it across? It doesn't really line up right because the diner hangs off the edge here. So if I do that, I risk like a catastrophe. I'm not sure what to do next. Not sure. Help, <laughs> I'm struggling. All right, so I've made some decent progress with the little Disney World area back there. And I've also bagged up a Mario set that doesn't belong in Disney World. Here's our small but growing bag pile. Honestly, this Disney area is a bit overwhelming and it's nowhere near done, but really my goal is just to make this look decent enough so that if it's shown on TV, people won't judge me. <laughs> so now we're moving over to these sets. I'm just gonna bag this one up, I think. I couldn't fit the whole house into the bag, so that's as good as it's gonna get. This area is looking a lot cleaner, even though it's just completely empty, but I moved everything along Main Street just so it looks a little bit more organized. Obviously, there's still some 
casualties there in the middle, but we'll just ignore that. We'll get to it later. But yeah, I, I'm starting to feel a little bit better in here. Look, there's like a lot of just open space. So it looks like we're still kind of working on it. It just doesn't look like a giant mess. We're finally getting somewhere. This is starting to feel really good. So here we have the story of Nian and I had it just in the middle of the table over there but I'm thinking it would look really nice next to Elsa's ice castle, kind of between that and the roller coaster. So let's see how that works. All right, so obviously not great, but maybe better than in the middle of the table over there. Let's get a better look. Honestly, that's not that bad. Oh, we almost forgot these. There we go. Also, this does not belong here. All right, then over here, I just noticed something else we can get rid of, or at least move for now, is this half-built, oh, I broke it, oh gosh. Ugh, there we go. Half-built haunted house. Not sure what to do with it, but it's not done yet. I think I'll just kind of hide it somewhere. Is that a good idea? We'll see. Look who came to join me. Hey, Lady Bird, does your chain hang low? Does it bobble to the floor? Aww, she does it, loves it. Does it shine in the light? Is it is it platinum or is it gold? I don't know the words. Is it platinum? I think I think it's safe to say that her, her chain does hang pretty low. To be fair, I feel like it hangs pretty low on me too. Eh, not that low. <laughs> wow, you're actually so talented. <laughs> New world record. Oh, <laughs> A lover? Oh yeah. She's a good girl. Is it true? Are you a good girl? Are you just making fun of our own Lego city? No, I'm just wondering why Sandman's in the ocean. That doesn't make any sense. Well, because we don't have a beach. That's fair. Because yeah. <laughs> life's a beach and he's just playing in the sand. Alrighty, so it's the next day now. They're getting here in less than an hour, so I'm really nervous, but also really excited for all of it. The Lego City has not looked this good in forever, so maybe we need like news people to come more often, honestly, because this is starting to actually look clean. I'm really happy about it. Obviously, we can't really do much about this whole area not being done yet, but you know, at least it looks presentable for TV. Is that true, Ladybird? Is it looking good? All right, and then check out my Lego office. Everything's actually so clean in here. Like, look at this. Look at this shelf over here. Actually, this is the first time anyone's ever seen this. So looking pretty decent, I think. Check out all the Scooby stuff. Obviously, there's like a whole thing for Scooby. Like, what would you expect? And then my back wall is looking really good. Like, I'm just overall very happy with it. I feel like we're actually ready for them. And obviously, I am a bit nervous just overall because it's like... I have no idea what they're gonna ask. Like, I don't know if they're gonna come at me with like, how does it feel to play with kids toys or like, you know, just stuff like that. So I'm just, I feel like I'm ready for everything. Me and Ross kind of talked through different questions they might ask us, but really I'm just hoping to have some fun with it. They seemed really nice. I did do a Zoom call with them and she was really sweet. So hopefully that's still the case. And it's currently 1.40. So they're getting here in 20 minutes. It's so soon. I'm honestly just kind of freaking out a little bit, but hopefully they like our city. Hopefully they're like into it. They're not like making fun of us or anything. I'm feeling a little nervous. How are you feeling, Ross? Anxious. <laughs> Good. There's still dots on the at, -AT though, so hopefully they don't make us show that off too much. Lights. Ooh. Good. <laughs> Do you need help? I think I'm good. Cool. Should I do it right? Do I look professional? Look. Yes. <laughs> well, here. No. Don't you. <laughs> We've rearranged the city a little bit just to make room for a little interview area. We have our two chairs. I'm so excited. Clip it. You got your mic. All right, so we just gave a little tour of our city. Now I'm going to go build a Lego set with Maya. We're building sunflowers. So excited. Oh, I love this. Okay, my ass, my back. Oh, sit down. Yeah. Okay, he's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, and he's thinking. Kind of work in progress, Harry Potter stuff. So. 
about and we've been working on. This one's really cool because And this, what's interesting, I don't know if you guys talked about this, but uh, this is related to the Lego Ideas Project, where fans can actually submit, uh, like, a set idea, and if it gets enough support on the website, I believe... They build it. They'll, it'll go to a review, and then, yeah, they'll decide if they want to build it or not. So NBC is still here, and we finished the interview. It was a nice little sit-down interview. We also made some sunflowers. Check these out. We nailed it. Don't they look cute? I love these so much. Very cute. So yeah, I think they're just taking some B-roll now of the LEGO City, and then I think we'll be done! This was so much fun! Yes, you got it. He's like a dusting fairy. That's what you're known for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so NBC just left. The two ladies just got into their Uber and they're heading back to the hotel and like taking B-roll of Austin. But that was so much fun. Like they were so nice and just like made it very comfortable. Like I was not intimidated. Like it really just felt like I was hanging out with someone, like hanging out with a friend, sharing my excitement about Lego with someone. So I am very excited to see the article when it comes out. They did a ton of footage while they were here. We did a sit down interview here with like two different stools, just kind of talking with one of the reporters. And then we built some flowers together and that was really fun. But then we also gave them like a whole tour of our Lego city. So there's probably like two hours worth of footage for them to go through, which is kind of crazy. But they said it'll be on NBC's Snapchat show. The reporter is apparently like one of the hosts for that. And then also on NBC News Now. So I am just, I'm very excited to see it come out. Did you have a good time, Ross? Show did. That was fun, right? Oh God, you're vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> They loved Ladybird too. Yeah, it was a really good time. Yeah, they were awesome. They were really sweet. But yeah, like before they got here, I had no idea what to expect. I thought they'd be like really intimidating, kind of like mean maybe. I don't know, just like, why do you play with kids toys? But they were like the nicest people I've ever met. That was such a great experience. I loved it. They took a bunch of B-roll of us like dusting our Lego, which felt kind of silly, <laughs> but like, I don't know. It's kind of nice to see like the reality of just keeping up with your Lego collection. I'm hungry too. Where do you want to go? Uh, to a restaurant. Good.